Okay guys, so next place, cave to ancient murals. It's actually the picture of the main menu of the game that's here. It's pretty neat. Destruction. Yeah, and that happens. Well, we prevent that. Yeah. Tell us something. Puppet Shangala. He's mad. Controlling him. That's Pow. Pow how? Retreat! Retreat! Come on. Run like a rabbit! <laughs> From the music and other sad cuts. You know. Oh, of course. Smart, smart, smart. So let's go into the future where the Luna Lab is. Luna Lab. And now we're on the beach first. Gonna take a pina colada on the go, please. No, no damn barman on a beach. What type of beach is that? Or barmaid. Way better. <laughs> okay, so now, gonna go into the red lab. Right there, to the right. And after we're done with the Shingala encounter, Gonna go to the blue lab. If you press uh, L1 and R1, I remember it turns the camera uh, like uh, like this. It's pretty neat. Just realized that like uh, a while ago, and I forgot to mention it. Another cutscene here. There's a lot of those here. Sweet. You look crazy though. He just said, Can I help you? So, of course, I'll help you. Warn Oh but to be serious though there's one thing that I tested out guys and I want you to be aware of it. What I'll let him speak. Have to be so negative. 
<laughs> well, you only have one. Yeah, but I already have one. I'm cool, right? Okay, now the important thing that I want to say is that this part here is exactly like at the beginning when you're fighting that robot uh, clown Halloween. What that means is that when you pick the worm, you take some damage that is unavoidable. Okay, because you will see I feed the worm to a fish, but you have to pick up the fish to throw it in his mouth. You don't have a choice. There is no other way to do that. Wait, can I feed them again or they're not hungry? I'll feed them real quick before I make them eat the worm. No, no, not these guys. Wait, let's go back in. No, these guys are my go-to guys for the fish race. And these random here, well, this random and the other one, could have been the other one, are going to be the one that take the fish. Well, the worm. What the fuck am I saying? The fish. There you go. Was shocked. Now I'll pull, pull back my two other in there. And then yeah, then we're gonna go do that. But you will see, you will you take three damage every time you pick one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do. If I miss, I'm gonna redo it, of course. But what I'm gonna try to do is pick the worm one time, so I will take three unavoidable damage. There's nothing you can do about that. And then I'll throw it in his mouth. And if I do it right, well, it's unavoidable damage, but it will still count as the no damage rules there. Because there's nothing you can do about that. But, but even before, I tried to pick the bomb up in the first chapter with the right pod. And I tried many stuff. It it doesn't work. You have to pick it up with your bare hand. And you take damage as soon as you do that. So there's nothing you can do for that. Now I'm going to try to concentrate. Because we have to take a picture also of Shangala. Puppet Shangala. To be more precise. Also, I have to put him in a way where I, when I shoot him, he open his mouth and I can shoot it in his face. Puppet Shangala. You see, three damage, and then, boom, there you go, that was perfect. Nothing you can do about that, because at first, when I picked the fish and I realized I, I lost damage, I was like, what the hell, where did I get hit? But I didn't take a hit, it's unavoidable damage from the electrical worm in the fish. Nothing you can do about that. Well, of course. Well, of course. Now, after that fight, I have to go to the blue lab to make sure I don't forget. Because if not, I'm gonna have to go later.
So just want to make sure I got the Puppet Shangala. Okay, yeah, I took Vinicius Evening Sun and Puppet Shangala. We have that. So there you go. And then we'll take the picture of the ancient uh, mural. When we come back there. Because anyway, we have to cross over on the little bridge. So it's not an option. You have to do it. Well, you don't have to, but I mean, it's important to get scooped. You guys know that by now. So this thing went pretty well, to be honest. I mean, uh, even though unavoidable damage is still really sweet because you didn't give me too much tr like trouble. Now I did say we have to go to the blue lab and that's just a lot of travel. Again, we're going to pick all those uh, power up at the end. It's going to be easier. I'm just going to travel around, take them all up before we leave for uh, the fifth chapter. So I hope it's, it is really the blue one I have to go to. From what I remember it is, but we'll see. If it's not the good one, we'll go into the good one next. It's, it's no worry. That looks like it's a good one, because there's a cutscene. That. A little smart ass. Domain then. Hey, you. Yes, sir. Go get me the shell talking. Yes, sir. Listen to your young and thanks. Looks like a gun. Sweet. Back, of course, because we want to go 10,000 years in the past, and we need that kid for this. So, I did go to the right uh, lab after all, and now we're gonna head back and go to the next level. And also, because I'm at 37 metal exactly, if I manage to get my tree metal in the next level by doing the speed up, well. I will, trust me, if, except if it's one where I have to kill enemy with item or stuff like that, I'm definitely gonna do it anyway. And this way, like the next level after this, I should be able to have max gun that's freaking OP also. Same as uh, Monica's sword and armband. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna make that next. That's really the next priority for now. Mm 
Now we're moving here. I'm gonna take a picture, cross over to the next level, and then we're gonna pick up on the next level, and I can skip that. I mean, I don't have to rewatch that every time. There you go. I'm gonna put it in the album. Right there. There you go. Now we cross over that little thing here. These rock or this column. Then right here. Yes, thank you. Now, moment of truth. Wandering Zappy with a seal and defeat every enemy basically with the hammer. That's the right hand weapon. I'm gonna try to get the time if we can. If we don't get the time, we'll redo it. Same for the Sfida. Because it's really important to get those metal. Come on, my Goyon. These guys are kind of unpredictable, to be honest. Sometimes they will, like, launch at you. You will see if they do it. Well, not this time. Woo! <laughs> Almost took a hit there. Come on, Zappy. Come here. There you go. Can you see what I mean? Unpredictable. <laughs> Those fuckers, I swear sometimes, man. They're like gonna go really fast at you. Scare shit. I heard there's some mimic. So you have to be ready to charge whenever this happens. Here we'll come pick this up at the end because we're gonna try to get the time if possible. Because I have no clue if it's realistic thing that I'm gonna get the time. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. I'm like, I'm good with this hammer, but you keep running away from me, won't be able to do anything. That's for sure. There you go. Full combo, full kill. Cool. I was close. Kind of scared me a bit. Now Donnie will open this door no matter what. Open this door, dude. Come on, my wandering zappy. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Huh. Did you just realize I was there? There you go. Hmm. A lot of annoying type of enemy here. I 
And there's another one back there. You gotta make sure you stun that bitch because if not, she can be a real pain in the ass. Like any character, basically, well, any type of enemy, but this one more so. There we go, come on. Come and attack me, man, I'm waiting for it. Thank you. There we go. Fuck you! <laughs> Eat that. There you go. This is really scary, man. It's so easy to get hit here, to be honest. Freaking easy. That's why, depending on how they move, I'm like, no, don't like this. I don't know, will I get the time? Also no clue honestly, because a lot of charging at the moment. Uh... So it seems it's the first hit that hits the most, because I had to repeat it. Oof. And there was seriously zero intention in uh, doing a, a backflip. Okay. Now is it the last enemy here? Full combo of my hammer in your face. Is it done? Fuck. <laughs> it means that's a mimic here. There we go. Whew. I didn't get the time. I'll redo the time, trust me. Because there was a lot of charging in there. Well, my defense, I mean, weapon is weak compared to Monica's weapon. But that will change once we get the last medal on this floor here. So, on the next floor you will see me with another gun here, a different gun. But for now we're gonna repair that wrench here. Then we're gonna do this. I hope it's more than one hit because even though sometimes uh, you have luck, it's three hit, should be plenty. I'm gonna try to not make it bounce too much shit wait tell me. can I go right there there I go try just here Perfect. Nah, are you shitting me?
Oh, yes! <laughs> How should I have missed it? I didn't miss it, at least. Well, that's two metal. The hardest, anyway, was to do it uh, with max hammer only, because we don't have the last hammer for now, and... Man, I will feed the pet here. Feed, 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 feed. There you go, my little fish. Gotta be happy. So what's the reward here for this Fida? Huh. Level up powder? That's pretty nice. And... On to the next floor now. With, of course, the best gun next. 